Gamers of Reddit, what is your favorite memory of all time related to playing video games? Halo 3 with the brothers. Halo 3 private games will forever be remembered by me as the best time of my life. I loved all the options you could use. I made a game with over shields, invisibility, and only needlers. So it was really hard to kill people due to needlers needing to lock on. And needing to be visible to lock on. I made it to troll but everyone loved it for some stupid reason. It also made the game lag like hell. Full 16 person lobby. Fat kid on Stargate was the shit. I remember playing Fallout 3 when I was 14. I love that I had so many options of dialogue to choose from. Escaping the vault and looking at the small cliff outside was just incredible. I had goosebumps. Yep. Rented Fallout 3 at Blockbuster when I was around that age. Had no idea what it was. Just thought the cover looked cool. Walking out into the wasteland for the first time was mind blowing. It's a simple one. But I was playing a bit of Kingdom Hearts 2 before getting ready for school. My brother then pops in to tell me that school was cancelled due to snow. So I could gladly continue playing. It's one of those memories I attribute to childhood and with the series a lot. The golden age of Minecraft. When it was still in early stages of development. I stayed up all night playing that with my brother. Something about a good Minecraft world just makes time f king vanish. Playing by yourself can be sort of meditative but building something with a friend is this primordial where building a blanket fort sand castle blend if imagination and creativity that comes screaming back from childhood. Comma playing by yourself can be sort of meditative. I've done this almost every day for the past 7 years. And you're right. It is kind of like meditation for me. I sit in the dark. Put on some music. And build in my creative mode world. It's the same world I started on years ago. So there is a ton of stuff I've built over the years. Playing Ultima Online during Renaissance. The most cutthroat game ever. You could be killed by other players any place. Any time. And for no reason at all. Not only that. But there were seeming endless ways people could PK. Sometimes people would get pretty creative. Bunch of people sitting AFK in town. Why not aggro every single dragon monster in a dungeon? And then open a gate to a town and having all that shti follow you through. See someone farming higher level monsters in a dungeon? Hop on your thief character and steal their weapon and or healing items and watch them die. Then loot them dry. Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It has told me to copy the map I found to my version of the map. I had tried literally drawing it. Pressing every button. Blowing into the mic. Moving the joystick around everything. Eventually I went down to consult with my brother and explained the situation. He verified that I had indeed pressed every button combination and tried everything else. Then he said. What if you just close it? Double quote. I was like what? Oh. Yeah wouldn't it be funny if that worked? So I humored him. And when I reopened it and heard the little Zelda jingle. We both burst out laughing. I think we woke up half the house. But it didn't matter. That was the best moment. My best friend is pretty bad at FPS games but he enjoyed playing Halo 3 with me. When we were 16 stroke 17 he got dumped by some girl who left him for another guy. He was super devastated and pissed. He invited me over to hang out all night and keep him company. We played Halo 3 from 7pm to roughly 6am. I'll never forget how I impressed I was at how good he was doing most of the night. He literally carried games and put his anger into the game. Split screen Halo 3 online was the best and we spent hours days playing online. He got over the breakup not too long after that. Aside from playing Spiro all the time. Discovering Super Mario Sunshine and later. Nintendo as a whole. The world was so bright and colorful and I oddly loved cleaning up all that goo. And using F. L. U. D. As a water jetpack was the coolest thing ever. Also the hot summer days when I was about 10. When my friend and I would go down to my brother's room in the basement to cool down and play Guitar Hero 2. I discovered so many good bands from that game. Not me but a few calls of duty back. I wanna say Black Ops 3. 
My husband ordered a care package. It landed in the worst spot and rolled off a cliff and out of the game. This is probably one of those you had to be there stories. But man was it funny. His subsequent bewilderment and mini freak out were equally hilarious. He still gets irked when I say lol remember that time your care package rolled off a cliff. Hilarious. Double quote. A bunch of us playing Beauty and the Beast on a black and white TV. We had to follow colored roses so it was all trial and error. It was pretty hilarious. Mario Party 2 with a bunch of friends. Each loser per minigame had to drink. Playing in a Pokemon tournament. Getting laughed at for having a bad team comp but everyone was in a good mood so it was fun embarrassing moment. The cosplay and the thrill of collecting real life badges made it great. When I played Morrowind for the first time. I played it with a friend who I only saw a couple times a year because he lived far away. I was just blown away by the scope of it as he showed me around. Stole some stuff and let me see the Mora, which he said was the capital. It was just mesmerizing. Then he burned me a copy and I went home. Where the disc didn't work. Months later I found the game in a budget bin in a game store. Paid 7 euros for it including expansions. And played hundreds of hours of it. Playing Quake in college during the primordial stages of competitive gaming. Playing with people on the local server a student that worked in IT put on school servers. Forming a clan. Early on having to use external clocks to time matches. All getting together in one of the school labs at night to play in one of the first national tournaments, and getting our asses kicked. All going to a LAN in Maryland and doing much better and having a great time. Going to the house of another clan in Atlanta and having an awesome drunken weekend. Playing with guys that would later become rich and famous, Thresh and Fatal One tie standing out the most. Made it to the final 128 in the online tournament for Carmex Ferrari. I've been playing games a long time. Too many to narrow down. Firing up Wolf 3D for the first time and knowing things in gaming just change permanently. Wizardry Eye on the Apple II. The first RPG with 3D exploration, John Irenicus Laboratory in Baldur's Gate II. First time a villain physically revolted me. The reveal of Shotten and System Shock 2. The Polito form is dead. Insect. The scene in Mass Effect 3 where the entire Citadel fleet comes out of light speed at the Karen Relay for the final battle. And Admiral Hackett comes aboard the Normandy to give a speech. The ships just don't stop blinking in and you know this is it. The finale of a years long journey and you'll either save the galaxy or you won't. Hackett's voice acting wasn't very good. But it's my favorite cinematic of all time. In Witcher 3. Everything related to Iris and Algierd von Emmerich. That story is a tragedy of almost Shakespearean levels. Yeah. Praise Geraldo. ETC. My brother and I would system link crackdown on our 360s. We would go to the mine area and get one of those dump truck things and decide on a delivery destination on another one of the islands. We would then try and very very gently load the various explosive barrels and missile warheads that we were delivering into the bed of this truck. As you'd expect. This was extremely difficult. Since gentle isn't really possible in a game where you are supposed to destroy everything. More often than not we'd wind up accidentally blowing the whole mess up. Killing ourselves in the process. The button to pick stuff up and the button to kick stuff into the next zip code was the same button. As you probably expected. This caused many. Many explosions and the player corpse getting repeatedly jettisoned into low earth orbit. Once we finally got the trucks loaded up. We would gingerly try and drive to the destination we set for ourselves. If anyone has played Crackdown. You probably remember how stupid the I drivers are. Get rear-ended. Kaboom. Brake too hard. Vaporized. Turn too sharply. Dot. You get the idea. This was hysterical. We would spend hours unintentionally exploding and laughing until we were crying. 11 stroke 10. Would recommend. When I was around 7 years old. My friend's dad worked as an IT teacher in local high school. He would take us, our childhood group of friends. My friend's hockey teammates. There were usually 8 15 of us, with him every Sunday after lunch to school and while he was doing his teacher stuff. 
He let us in the IT classroom to play. Now mind you. Computers were really rare to have at home at the time. So it was a big deal. We would play Half-Life. Counter-Strike. Atomic Bomberman on LAN. Battling each other for hours straight until evening. It was awesome and went on for a few years. I have many great memories because of my friend's dad. Thank you. What is even better is that a few years ago. We made this happen again. At least once in a year. We get our laptops. Meet at someone's house and play for at least 12 hours. Half-Life. Quake 3 Arena. Atomic Bomberman. Serious Sam. Flat out, in every game we have a tournament. It doesn't matter that my friends have work tomorrow. Our CEOs of a multi-million companies. Are studying for doctorate exams. It doesn't matter that each of us have to drive for hours to meet and play. Once in a year. You just have to. You want to. Playing my first Zelda game. Link's Awakening DX. Especially that date with Marin. It wasn't my first video game at all but my previous ones had been a bit light on plot. Sup with. Doom. Wolfenstein. Pokemon. Link's Awakening and that date with Marin was a really eye opening oh crap. This is a person who isn't even real but I actually care about what happens to her moment for me. I actually cried a bit during the game's end. 100% summer break staying up playing games all night with my best friends in my teens. I'm only 22 now and still play with a lot of them but there was just something about it that makes me incredibly happy and sad to remember it. Because it'll never happen again. Halo 3 Customs. Modern Warfare 2. WoW Marathons. And any other game we could find to play all night. We would basically use whatever game we played as an excuse to talk and joke for as long as we could stay awake. People talk about how people waste their time and childhoods playing games. But I don't think anything I done would have made me as happy and made me laugh as much as those summers. It was never about the games really. It was about being at an age where me and my friends all had the time to do nothing together like that. Now the most we can do is find time to play a game of league or something together once a week sadly. Growing up fking sucks. EverQuest 1. Pre-Cunark. I was a higher level cleric. The zone was split poor. An expansive underground warren filled with gnolls. Some of these gnolls had whips called split poor lariats. These magical whips would occasionally trigger a magical stun on the target of their attacks. Based on the attacker's dexterity score. As such. They were highly prized by rangers. Who could dual wield them? My guild had one such ranger. So we planned a dungeon raid. Hoping to secure some of these lariats. We were all different levels. The zone was high 20s. Low 30s. I was L50. Our wizard was upper 40s. Tank was mid 30s. The other members were teens 20s. We went in under cover of invisibility. Coming in through a subterranean back door which forced us to swim under a river. Emerging from the water. We did a buff check. Then proceeded to storm the dungeon. We hid it to ourselves. Which was rare, the game was not instanced. We just got lucky that day. We fought our way from one end to the other. Eventually emerging into the daylight at the front entrance. Covered in null blood and having found two of the lariats for our ranger friend. As a max level cleric. I got nothing from this trip other than a good time and a few silver pieces. It was ridiculously fun to actually do a dungeon. Rather than just find a spot at camp. The disparity in class levels among the party meant we had to be clever and actually think about what we were doing to keep everyone safe. It felt like a real adventure. First time seeing Ocarina of Time. I was like 10 at the time and my best friend at that point had gotten it for his birthday. I was there. His dad had wrapped it up so that there were like some drawing craft supplies around it so he had to dig the game out. He didn't know it was there and flipped out. We both immediately ran up to his room and he popped it in. Blew my mind. But by the time I left we hadn't even figured out how to get to the Deku tree. I got it not long after and had to ask him for help all the time. I remember in Knights of the Old Republic 2. Near the end when you gather all the Jedi Masters. That scene turned the perception I had about the Jedi. And even my character on its head. 
Made me rethink everything my character did in that game. What really got me was that they were right. I didn't really appreciate that dialogue as a kid but. When I got to that scene again as an adult. Man it blew me away. That game. It's writing. Was way ahead of its time. And has added more to the franchise than the last two movies had. In ESIV. Oblivion. There's this dark brotherhood quest where you're locked in a mansion with like 6 other people and you have to kill them all in a fashion as to convince everyone else that you're definitely not the killer. It's like Clue. But you're the killer. That whole game was wondrous and whimsical and dark and awe inspiring. It hit all the bases. Skyrim paled in comparison. I felt like they tried to make a Christopher Nolan's Batman version of ES where everything was dark and gritty but ultimately shallow. I really doubt Bethesda will be able to make another game as good as ESIII and IV. One day my friends and I were playing Halo 3 online on the map Guardian. It's a greenish map with a circular platform in the middle for those who remember. It's 4v4. We're dominating. Usual stuff. Someone on the opposing team deploys a bubble shield right at the entrance of the tower and their whole team piles in waiting on us to move from our safe spot in the orange lift area. I say Austin. Run straight at them and don't stop. Okay Mello. He said as he knew what was about to happen. The enemy team stay inside the shield and wait for him confidently. Foolishly. Thinking they were going to win the 4 on 1. I throw a plasma grenade right as he's about to pass through the shield. It lands directly on Austin. They saw the grenade fly through the sky but it was too late. They couldn't get out in time. Overkill. My mom playing Tomb Raider. My PS1 was my first console as a kid and I would play it every moment I possibly could. I'm an only child. And my mom was a single parent so all of my excitement and stories from my games were unloaded on her day after day. Generally. She would listen if she wasn't busy. And would engage me if I was being coherent enough in my explanations. But she was by no means a gamer so there was a bit of a disconnect. Then. Out of the blue. I find her in my game room, the garage, playing Tomb Raider which confused me because she never expressed any interest in playing games before that moment. I sat down and watched her play and saw how much she got into it even though she had a hard time because she never really played video games. She eventually beat both the first and second games entirely by herself. These days due partially to her getting older. And also the complexity of the games as the series went on she can't play them anymore. But every time I get a new one I play it with her because I know she still likes it. And reliving the experience of Tomb Raider with her again even though the roles are reversed makes me happy. My favorite moments gaming are probably from the summers in middle and high school. Me and my best friend would hang out pretty much every day. We'd go to the mall and chill for a few hours and talk about life and shit. Then buy a random co-op PS2 game or some shtee as well as some 2 liters of Mutin Dew and 2 monster energy drinks of course. We would then stay up for like 2 days straight more or less and beat that game. Then go back to playing Smash Bros Melee for a few weeks until we decide to beat some other random game. I don't miss school but I do miss summer. Having no obligations for 3 months a year sounds like a utopian dream. Completing the For the Horde. Achievement in World of Warcrafts in one night. The achievement is for killing the four leaders of the Alliance. Which are located in the various Alliance cities. This was during early Wrath of the Lich King. It's probably a lot easier different now. I don't even know what the cities are like these days. But at the time it was quite difficult as not only did you have to deal with tell leaders who were bosses with huge amounts of HP. And fight through swarms of guards in the cities. But all the alliance players would show up. And this was pre-server meshing. We had almost two entire raid groups full of players. I have no idea how we were able to actually pull it off. Fighting through a stormwind. Taking the tram to Ironforge and killing the gnome and wharf. Then finally going to the night elf place. All while a massive ongoing battle took place between what felt like the entire server. Hundreds and hundreds of players fighting while a core group took down the bosses. Finally, after 3-4 hours, we triumphantly returned to Orgrimmar. The reward for the achievement was a black war bear mount, 
Still my favorite mount ever in WoW. And we all mounted up and rode through the city while everyone cheered. Best video game night of my life. I miss that era of WoW. In high school. We would pass out PC games on a USB. Handing them out like they were drugs contraband. It was a huge thrill when we would trick the teachers into thinking we were working. When in face we were either playing Halo. CS. S or BF 1942. There were even occasions of free time when an entire class would play together in one giant LAN party. Usually around plus 20 of us. The smell of opening my brand new Nintendo for Christmas when I was a little kid. I used to play that thing on my parents old turn dial TV. The dial had fallen off so I had to use pliers to turn the channel. Reading this comment reminded me of the Christmas I got a PlayStation when I was younger. It was my first video game console, although I had played friends Nintendo and Sega for years. I had asked for an Nintendo 64 and got a PlayStation instead because my parents heard it was the new hot item. I had no idea what it was and just moved on to the next gift. After they explained what it was and I played Crash Bandicoot and Ridge Racer I was hooked. Been a gamer ever since. Getting to Shadow Moses for the first time on MGS4. Me and a friend both got the game on launch and had got to the end of chapter 3. I went round his after work on a Friday. And we stuck it on. I remember running down the slope. Managing to avoid the Jiko. And standing on the helipad with the music. Panning the camera around. I was hit with such massive sense of nostalgia. And was almost moved to tears. Looked over at my friend and could tell he was clearly having the same reaction. Remember it clears as day almost 11 years later. Back when I was a young. My mother never cared for playing video games and mainly preferred to watch whenever I got a new one. I did convince her to play an Emisha Blade Warriors with me. After a bit of persuading and begging. To my surprise. She actually starts whooping us left and right. Grabbing all the power ups and. Generally. Starts tearing all sorts of ass. Her eyes lit up and she had a huge grin on her face and I could tell she was having a blast. I could also tell that her controller hadn't been plugged in and that her character was actually a CPU. I never told her because it was so nice to see her first hand enjoy a video game. Also the only reason Blade Warriors was cool because of that sick Megaman. Eggs crossover. Not a big wrestling fan. But they make some really fun games. My brother. Some friends and I used to have Wrestlemania 2004 N64. We all made our own characters and had a little league where we kept track of a championship. One night I am in the championship match against my brother's friend. It's an anywhere backstage hardcore match. It lasted almost an hour. Our guys were as bloodied as the graphics would allow. We had each kicked out of a dozen pin submission attempts. Finally I was able to use my finisher on him and his guy just didn't even flinch as he mashed the buttons. I was exhausted. Everyone was screaming. I was the champion. I used to play Thrasher. Skate and destroy all the time on PS1, anyone remember this? Comma when I was 11 years old. Like. Religiously. That shit was my absolute jam. Well. My older brother was sick one week and was home a lot. So when I'd come back from school he'd be sitting playing his games, mostly racing games. And would hand off to me so I could inevitably play Thrasher for a while. He'd usually sit and watch. That Friday I came home from school. I walked into our living room and there he was. Attempting to play Thrasher and sweet mother he sucked. It was really hilarious tbh. So I sat down and I started teaching him how to do the basics and how to approach ledges and stuff to do grinds and whatever. And that was our entire weekend. Just sitting there passing a controller back and forth. Him learning how to play and getting better at it and improving. By the end of the weekend I remember him turning to me and saying thanks for making the weekend pass quickly. And he also said I was incredible at that game. Which to young me was like the highest praise. I'll never forget it. He's not dead or anything by the way, I just read this back to myself and was like I'm leading up to a death aren't I oh god. Our relationship has deteriorated to the extent that we haven't actually spoken to each other in 3 years. 
Even though we still technically live together, he spends a lot of time traveling and with his girlfriend and whatever. I still think of that weekend though. It was cute. Sylvie. I have a few. But one that stands out the most was from days, mod on Linger Island. I was playing with a few of my buddies. We were maybe 6 playing on the server but at the time of that particular event we were 4 or 9. It was night time in game and we were hunting for crash helicopter sites when we saw one up the mountain with the racetrack. We started moving towards it leaving one man in the forest as backup. I get out of our vehicle to loot the chopper while the two others stay in the car to attract the zombies. When we suddenly fall under fire. We managed to kill 3 attackers. During the initial gunfight but the last guy ran over the rest of my team before I finally killed him. Leaving way too much loot on the ground. After picking everything up me and a buddy who luckily spawned near-ish. Picked up the cars and went to base. This was the event that started a war between both our groups where we would raid each other's bases and steal stuff from each other for about a week before the server resetted or crashed I can't remember. My dad bought me a PS2. And would look and make comments as I played Sly Raccoon. Rayman. Tony Hawk's Underground and Lot of the Two Towers. He was blown away over how realistic Thug looked. And would always ask me what I was doing and why. He wasn't at all a gamer himself. But I loved that he actually supported my hobby. And showed interest in what I was doing. He died in 2005 but I think about him every time I play a game I like. And I wish he could have seen me play Red Dead Redemption. He and I loved watching spaghetti westerns. And he would have loved that game so much. I have a daughter now who also loves gaming. And I make sure to ask her way or play with her. So she gets the same support I did. I'm currently saving up for a PS4 so I can play our DR2. And get a bunch of games that me and the kid can enjoy together. Close bracket.